Hey guys, this is Mr. Smith. When we left off, we were talking about Mars, and this is Mars. Um, do you remember? It has a couple of moons and everything. We looked at that, and now we're going to talk about Jupiter. So, let's go to Jupiter. Solar system chart. Oh, hey, look, we did that. So, this is Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. It is the fifth planet from the sun. Jupiter has a lot of moons. Up until the latest discovery of all the moons of Saturn, Jupiter was known to have the most moons. Now it is Saturn, but it is mostly, for most of the time, been Jupiter that we thought had the most moons. Jupiter has this red sort of swirl here that they think is like a, like some kind of storm. It's been there like forever. So we're going to go to Jupiter and look at some information. So Jupiter is 483 million miles from the sun. It's very far. Uh, it takes 12 years for Jupiter to orbit the sun. That seems crazy to me. Like I'm 48 years old. Jupiter's only orbited the sun four times in my whole life. So here's Jupiter. We can take a little look around Jupiter. Jupiter is a gas giant, just like Saturn. So you can't land on Jupiter. Um, it's all gas. Let's take a look at the info it gives for Jupiter. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun and the largest on the solar system, as well as the planet with the most moons. This is old information, so they probably have to do an update. Viewed from Earth, Jupiter can reach an apparent magnitude of nearly... I don't know what that means making it the third brightest object in the night sky after the moon and Venus. Okay, let's see. Jupiter, composition and atmosphere. As a gas giant, Jupiter has nothing that could be considered a surface. Its atmosphere simply transitions smoothly from gas to liquid to solid as it gets deeper. It's composed mostly of hydrogen and helium, with only small amounts of other elements. Numerous storms exist on its surface at any one time, notably the Great Red Spot an anti-cyclonic storm the size of the Earth. So that storm on Jupiter is the size of Earth, which has been active for at least 300 years. So that's crazy. So anyways, let's take a look at Jupiter. Let's, let's, uh, I know you can't walk on Jupiter, but for the sake of this, oh here, and this is cool. You can see kind of when we zoom in and out, all the moons related to Jupiter. I love how it kind of looks like a, its own little planetary system. So let's, let's land on Jupiter and see what it looks like from the surface. Again, you can't really walk on Jupiter, but it kind of lets us take a look. So this is Jupiter. Let's see if we can find... What are some of these? These are kind of bright in the sky. They might be stuff we know. No, that's Sirius. That's a star. I don't know if maybe one of them would be like Earth or something. All right, so let's look around. So hydrogen and helium. So I wonder if you were at, if you were on the surface of Jupiter. This is probably one of its moons. That's pretty cool. Yes, that's uh, Io. Um. So I wonder if you were, if you were at, if somehow could hover above Jupiter, if you would talk with a really high voice like you do when you inhale a, a helium balloon. I don't know. That's just a, a thought. It's also hydrogen, which is very flammable. Um, so, all right, let's take a look at the moons. We, we're not going to look at all of the moons, obviously, because there are a ton of them. But we'll start with, like, the closest one. So these, this is what I thought. These are going to be sort of like um, the moons of Saturn and one of Mars, where they kind of look like asteroids they don't really look like moons our moon's very round like we have a very our moon almost looks like a planet but smaller but a lot of these moons are just like kind of asteroids that got stuck in the gravity of the planets so this is this is Al Abalthia so that's one of the moons that's cool where's Jupiter let's see what Jupiter looks like from Amalthea Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. All right, let's look at another one.
It takes a while. It's space after all. So this one's a little more like a like a moon, but still looks kind of like an asteroid. You can see it has craters from getting hit by other things. Um, let's land on this one and see kind of what things look like. I love this. Oh, there we go. So where's... Oh, I always hit the wrong buttons. Oh, there's Jupiter. That's pretty cool. It's just coming up over the horizon. Where's the sun? There's the sun. All right, so that is Thebe. All right, so let's look at some of the bigger ones. So some of the, some of Jupiter's moons are very big. They almost look like planets. Jupiter's huge. Jupiter's like much larger than Earth. It is the largest planet in our solar system. It Jupiter is... Um, it ranges in distance from the Earth from 365 million miles to 601 million miles. So it can at times be pretty far away. So this is pretty cool. I like the colors of this one. It's a little different. Let's land on this planet, this uh, moon, sorry, and see what it looks like. So it's a cold, airless mini Terra. So it doesn't have any oxygen or any air. There's Jupiter. It looks so cool. I love that. All right, let's go a little further out this time. Ganymede. That's This is, I think, the biggest of the moons. It kind of looks similar to our moon, I think. This is also a cold, airless sub -aquaria. So sub I think, has something to do with water. I'm going to see if it has... Ganymede is Jupiter's largest moon and the largest moon in the solar system overall. Bigger than the planet Mercury. It is the seventh moon by distance from Jupiter. And the third, it is also the only moon to have a magnetic field. Remember, we talked about that. That's important for... Uh, moon or a planet to have an atmosphere. So the surface of Ganymede can be divided into old dark regions and relatively younger and lighter regions. Although both have craters, the dark regions appear to have much more extensive amount. Uh, I'm trying to see if they have, if there's any water. I don't know. It's called a subaquarium, which makes me think it probably does have water, but they're not saying it. Oh yeah. Ganymede's crust along with the outer mantle is composed mainly of ice, while the inner mantle is composed of silicates. Ganymede has a liquid iron core confirmed by the presence of a magnetic field around the planet. So that's Ganymede. Let's take a let's take a take a trip over to Ganymede Ganymede. Let's see what it looks like. Some of these things are pretty bright in the sky. I wonder if there are things that are close. No, that's a star. That's not close. Anyways. All right, let's go a little bit further out. Look at one of the moons that's farther out. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> oh, let's see. I gotta figure out how to go back. This works. All right, back to our chart. Hey, the, over here, there we go. So we're gonna go all the way out to Pacifay. I believe I'm saying that right. Go to object. These we might find, number one, they're very far away from Jupiter. Uh, but you know, some of these, these planets that are really big and have so many moons, it kind of tells you how powerful gravity is because these things are really far away and really small but they still can get stuck in the gravitational field and orbit these giant planets so it kind of just tells you how 
strong their field of gravity can be. So this is a c cool one. What is this over here? Oh, that's Jupiter. So that's what Jupiter looks like from the farthest uh, of its moons. So let's land over here. Wait, where are we? Go? Oh, it's landing on. Oh, it's. Oh, we're. No, stop. <laughs> go back. <laughs> I messed up, I'm sorry. So now it's gonna... Ah, oh, we have to search. I messed up guys, I'm sorry. Go to, let's go back to Jupiter. So we just went, you know, it's just a little casual space travel. That's all. All right, we're back where we're supposed to be. Let's go back to, come on, work, please. Pacifay, where we were. That's what I get for clicking on things. Land on object. Let's see if we can land on Pacifay and see if we can find Jupiter. So, hmm? it's interesting. I'm not sure we're gonna be able to see Jupiter from here, but we can see it before. might be in this little group no that's a star we know how this went before <laughs> all right guys so uh that's jupiter and some of its moons and things about jupiter oh wait is that it's that over there oh never mind um so we're gonna probably do neptune next um and we're almost done with this but i really had a lot of fun doing this Thank you for watching and uh, I hope you have a good day guys and be good for your teacher. All right, bye.